One of the first things required in any servo axis commissioning is to tune the motor. ASDA soft is included in the purchase of any Delta servo drive and includes features like the auto gain tuning window that help make this task easy and save you on startup time. You can access the auto gain tuning window from this icon. You can also access it from the tools bar at this location. To simplify tuning, only two parameters are required for the auto gain tuning window, the bandwidth of the axis and the ratio of inertia. The ratio of inertia for the axis can be calculated internally to the drive using the gain control panel. Clicking the gain control panel checkbox sets the drive to an internal control mode. This allows us to jog the axis back and forth so that the drive can calculate its inertia ratio. To get started, click the servo on button to force the axis on. Then, download the acceleration, deceleration, and speed parameters you want using the download button. Then, jog the axis using the forward and reverse arrows to the desired end of travel for your test move. Holding this button moves the axis forward. Once you've reached the desired position, press position one. Then use the jog arrow in reverse to reverse position and hit position two. This sets your two end of travels. Once you're ready to begin the motion, press the start button. The axis will now automatically move back and forth and calculate the inertia ratio in this box below. Once we see that the inertia ratio is settled, we want to stop the axis and increase the speed. This ensures that we get a correct value for the inertia ratio. We want to continue this process of increasing the speed and starting and stopping the motion until the inertia ratio does not increase further or change when we increase the speed. Once we've achieved an inertia ratio that is settled, we press the set J button to set that value and automatically compute the gains for the axis. To fine tune our computed tuning values, we can adjust the bandwidth at this time. We can increase or decrease the bandwidth but a good rule of thumb for most applications is to make sure that the bandwidth times the ratio of inertia does not exceed 400. Once we set a bandwidth that's appropriate, we can recompute our values to get the ideal tuning parameters. At this point, we can unclick the gain control panel and use the arrow to write these values to the drive. Congratulations, you have just completed servo drive tuning using ASDA soft.